Hey folks, as promised, I wanted to see Galaga working on this thing. This is an iMac G3, about 20 years old, CRT display, hence the flickering as you can see here. And uh, I've got, it's got Mac OS 9.2, not much memory, not much hard drive space, but enough to get a MAME uh, program working. This is the unofficial MAME, again, legal issues if you have roms please stay within the rules of your jurisdiction don't copy these things around these were on this machine when i found it in the dumpster and so this is what they look like this is the screen loading on an imac we're going to zoom in there may be some flicker because it's a crt and it has a refresh rate it's loading and here we go I'm inserting coins I want to try this out let's see how it plays it's pretty fast as you can see I may want to not kill all those guys because I want them to capture me usually I can turn them blue and they'll start killing me there like that guy there I just gotta be careful I don't get, get eaten by these guys. Or bombed, I should say. There we go. Already died. Okay, obviously, it's been a while since I played this. Oh, okay. Okay, let's see if this guy stops. There we go. Okay. I'm going to let him capture me on purpose so I can then get my duplicate back and get double double shooting if I can manage not to kill myself okay let's see oh there we go okay now let's finish these guys off and not get killed oh no oh, oh that sucked I just lost it okay now I'm really dead because I can't get back my double all right anyway that's basically it okay basically it uh, let me get out of here okay so this is uh, if I go up to here is there an about screen on this thing not really info hardware info game history cabinet marquee I don't think it has everything in here but anyway let's quit Sorry about the refresh rate again, it's pretty bad. Uh, by the way, this monitor does go up. If you go to control panels, I found that the easiest thing would be to use 400 by uh, 600. That gives me the best fill. But it does go up to 1024 by 768 and the refresh rate is horrendous. You can see it very much flashing there. That's 800 and then this is 640. That's 117 Hertz. Um, so it's a little bit smoother, but you know what, for my purposes, I found that this was the best right there. Um, anyway, lots of good programs to get for this um, computer. You can see there's another Pac-Man here. That is not the original Pac-Man. It's called Pac the Man. And it's a much crappier version, if I must say so, than the original. Um, but let me just see here about Pac the Man. Okay, 2000, well, you know, it's, I guess it's fine, considering, it's not too bad. The music's kind of close. Actually, it's almost an identical music. The maze is a little different. There's only, uh, oh yeah, there's the four ghosts, but the, uh, the maze is different. It's definitely smoother. So it's an improvement over the original Pac-Man as far as uh, resolution, frame rate, smoothness, and so on. Um, but I guess if you like, if you're, you know, a retro enthusiast and you're into the vintage version of Pac-Man, this is not going to cut it. It doesn't. It just kind of misses out on the, uh, you know, that vintage feel. Okay. Okay. I hit escape here, so we'll get out of this thing. Cancel. All right.
exit, quit. Okay, and then any other games on here? There's Wheel of Fortune. I'm not sure this works. Does it work? Puzzle Plunge 2. Okay. Dove Capture Field. Okay, that doesn't work. Um, Pookie and Tuki. So this is a silly game, I think, with a penguin. Trying to throw... Um, throw icebergs. Oh, Puki and Tushka. Okay. I'm not sure what it is. Puki and Tushka. Play the game. Let's zoom in here. And Tushka's Ice Toss Frenzy. Play without scary monsters, play with scary monsters. Sure. Okay. So you move this thing with a mouse and you have to throw things over at the penguin to build an igloo without hitting the icebergs and you've got to make sure that your Tuki or whoever it is over there Pookie is in the right spot if you go too fast and you throw it and you're not close enough he's not going to catch it okay so let's see if we can get oh okay I'm not sure what those things are there. There's something There's some kind of iceberg with something in it. I wonder if you're supposed to hit that when it comes by And if you get something from it, I'm not sure we'll have to wait until something comes by and hit it again Okay, let's get these over there Okay, so almost done. Oh, that one's going fast Okay, I'm gonna Give this guy another couple bricks and then I'm gonna run over here and shoot and hit this thing. Okay, what happened? He jumped in. Why? Oh, he got it. Okay, so I guess I guess you're supposed to hit it. Oh, what the heck is he doing? Get back out. Oh, let's try to get the monster here with the ice. There we go. Okay. Um, almost done. Yay! Oh, we finished. Okay, cute game. Not really interested in playing anymore. Close. Okay, that was interesting. Um, blobbies. Don't know what this is. Another one by the same company, okay. Okay. Blobbies, play the game. Those are... I guess those are the blobbies. Okay. Okay, are we starting? Shapes are. Uh, it goes here. No, it was this one. No, it was the green one. Okay. Yeah. Oh, here. 
folks watching this probably are laughing at this point because you already know the answer and you know where everything is. Uh, okay, a couple more seconds to go. Let's go. Okay. I suck at this game. I don't think I'll get one more. Come on, quick. That's it. Outstanding, but not great. Okay, so it's a shape, memory shape thing. Okay. That's it. You got your solitaire. You got your bug them. Oi. Okay. Koji the frog. And what's this? It's a frogger type game. Unlock, later, register. Okay. Play. Uh. Oh, I see. Okay. Interesting. What happens if you land on this guy? Will he try to eat you? Uh -oh. Okay, escape. Game over. Quit. Where is the quit button? All right, interesting. So another game. Anyway, there you have it. A little bit more on the iMac G3 that I found in the dumpster and a few other apps in here. Um, I'm going to keep playing around with this thing. Hope you enjoyed the video. And if you have an iMac G3, uh, or if you had one, let me know uh, what happened to it in the end. If you're still using it, let me know. And if you uh, have dumped it, let me know in what condition you dumped it and where it went. Did you throw it in a dumpster? Did you give it to somebody? Did you donate it? Did you send it out for recycling? What did you do with your old iMac G3 when you found it no longer useful for your computing needs. Again, thanks for watching. Have a good uh, time watching other videos and uh, catch you next time.